Hello guys, in this video I will share with you how to create draft file in IntelliJ IDEA. Through this video you will learn how to create draft files for Java projects for different purposes. Library, draft file, non-executable and uh, standalone uh, executable draft file and uh, executable draft file with dependencies. So what is draft file? You know in Java, Java stands for Java Archive. It is in a standard zip format. Java is used to distribute Java libraries, Java programs and applications. A Java file contains a Java class files, a metadata or manifest information, resources like text or images. There are two main types of Java file, none executable for libraries and executable for programs. Here are the steps uh, you need to follow to create a Java file in IntelliJ IDEA. First, you need to create an artifact with Java archive type. And then, you need to configure uh, the main class, manifest, external libraries, and then you create a Java file by uh, building the Java artifact. Now, I'm going to show you how to create a Java file for distributing uh, libraries. So in IntelliJ IDEA, I open the Java project network uh, utils here. And in this project, I have uh, a couple of uh, utility class, as you can see here, HTTP UT and uh, multipath uh, utility. Now, uh, we need to uh, package this uh, project uh, to a Java file non-executable for distributing as a library. So, we'll go to the menu file and project structure. And under the artifacts section here, you see artifacts. Click the plus button here to add jar from module with dependency here. And here you can see uh, the default module is selected and you need to um, for non-executable Java file, you don't have to specify main class. Just uh, select the module and then click OK. And that's it. And here, uh, you can change the uh, name of the artifact and the name of the generated Java file here. Right click here and rename. For example, I want to rename the Java file name to net dot code java dot network that's it and uh, click ok and now let's build uh, the artifact for the java file from the menu build here build artifacts and select uh, the artifact name network utils and action is build build and in general, the idea we generate the Java file for library purpose. And you can see in the out in directory, it uh, created uh, artifacts for Java file here under this directory. Uh, let's open the project directory in the uh, file explorer program in uh, Windows. Mm. Right here, projects. Network utils project here and in the out directory you see here artifacts network utils jar and you can see the jar file uh, created by IntelliJ IDEA here and this here non executable jar file for uh, uh, to be used as a library. Next, I'm going to show you how to create a Java file uh, for a Java program. So I open the project sound recorder here. You see a Java Swing uh, program that is a sound recorder program. Now, and this is a main class. Uh, let me run this program so you can see its user interface. And then we will create a Java file. Uh, an uh, 
execute the browser file for this project. As you can see, and this is the sound recorder program written in Java. Click the record button. It will record the sound from a microphone. That's it. And now let's create a, an uh, executable Java file for this project. So go to the menu file and uh, project structures artifacts here and click the plus button here. Jar from modules with dependencies. And because we are going to create an uh, executable Java file, so we need to specify the main class here. The main class uh, swing cell recorder, and uh, then uh, uh, IntelliJ IDEA um, success the directory for the uh, meta uh, INF manifest file. Just uh, choose the default, click OK. That's it, and then you can change the Java file name. I don't, don't want to change, so I leave as it is click ok and now let's build the mm, executable job file build uh, build artifacts and click the build action here for the artifacts I'll record the job and uh, intelligent idea we uh, create the job file in the out directory artifacts Cell recorder jar and you can see the cell recorder jar file appears here. Now let's see it in the Windows Explorer in the cell recorder project here. Out artifacts cell recorder jar and you can see the jar file created here. And we can double click on this uh, program, Java program to run as the standalone application because because it's an uh, executable Java file. Double click. And you can see swings sound recorder program appears here. You can click the record button to record the time. That's it how to create uh, an uh, executable Java file in uh, IntelliJ IDEA. Next I'm going to show you how to create an uh, executable Java file with uh, uh, external libraries dependency so I open this project students, students uh, Excel import and this program uh, uh, reads uh, students information from uh, an Excel file and then import to a MySQL uh, database as you can see here students import uh, it will connect to MySQL database and then uh, insert uh, student information to the database or read data from uh, an Excel file. And you can see in this project we have some external libraries uh, from um, MySQL, Connector Java, and uh, from uh, Apache Commons uh, collection, uh, Apache Poi, the library for uh, reading, writing uh, Microsoft Office documents. So this project depends on uh, several external libraries. And now uh, let me show you how to uh, generate uh, an executable Java file with dependencies, external libraries in IntelliJ IDEA. Go to menu file, and project structure, artifacts. Click the plus uh, button, Java. Uh, from module with dependencies here yeah, and select the main class uh, for the Java file which is student importer and um, because uh, this uh, program depends on some external libraries so we can choose to extract the libraries to the target Java file or copy to the output directory I choose the option to copy is a external libraries to the output directory and link via manifest file and uh, since this year Maven project so the directory for the manifest.mf file should be in the resource C directory so you choose the resource C directory here ok click ok that's it ok and now 
build a jar file, build artifact, build and IntelliJ idea we create an executable jar file in the out directory artifacts as you can see here then Excel import and you can see several jar files and that those are the um, uh, dependencies, the external libraries that the program requires. Now we'll go to the project in uh, Windows Explorer, student Excel import, out artifacts, student Excel import, and you can see here the main executable jar file for the project is uh, student uh, Excel import here. And the other jar files uh, as a dependency, the external libraries required by uh, this program. Now let's try to run this jar file in uh, command line. So I copy the path, copy and open the window command prompt, change the current directory to that directory. And then type this command Java and then the um, executable Java file name students Excel import here. And you can see it uh, says error reading file is a student uh, Excel file could not be found. Uh, don't worry, that means uh, the Java file has been executed uh, successfully so it uh, was looking for this uh, excel file but it uh, could not be found that's it uh, now uh, let me show you how to now we want to um, generate the executable the file with the external libraries uh, Extracted to a single jar file, so click build artifact to clean to clean the build for the jar file, and you can see the directory artifacts empty now. Now let's modify the settings uh, for the artifact jar file here. Mm, delete this and create a new one jar from modules. Select the main class here, and now we choose the option to extract the external libraries, the dimension to the target jar file, and the directory for the manifest is in the resource directory. Okay, okay. Uh, we should delete the manifest in the resource directory here. And delete. Edit and create the artifact again here. Choose the main class, main class, and choose the directory for the manifest is the resources because this is a Maven project. Okay, and that's it. And okay, and now let's build the, the artifact. And this time, if we see uh, IntelliJ idea, we track all the dependencies, the external libraries yeah, into the target file, jar file. So we have only one single jar file. As you can see here, yeah, we have only one single jar file. Here, yeah, students, Excel import. That's it. So that's how to. Uh, create a jar file in IntelliJ IDEA. I hope you will find this video helpful. Please subscribe, like, comment and share this video. Thank you.